Okay, so if you have been afraid of the Cinema 4D take system, this video is just for you because I will try to make it as simple as possible to explain this in a very, very basic way. So today I'm gonna make a short video about the Cinema 4D take system, which I really wish I had when I was start just starting out. So let me just create a cube and let me go in this take uh, window here. As you can see, there's this main. And if you click this button, plus button, you see that there's new take. And if you uh, click it a few more times, you're gonna see that there's four new takes here. Now, if you click on here, this one is the main, which, which simply means that it's the default state of the scene. That's the way I think of it. So if you create, for example, a sphere, a cylinder, and this object, and you hold down Shift Alt and drag here, you're gonna make them uh, invisible in the viewport and in the render. Um, and now if you click on this takes, this is the default state of the scene. So now if I click on this new take and I enable this auto take mode, which, which simply means that any changes that you're gonna make here, it's gonna save it as this takes changes. So now if I hold down Alt and click here, this will become visible. And if you go in this uh, take here and you see, and, and you click here, you can see that these are the, this simply means that these settings have been changed from the default state. So the default state is everything's invisible. And the first one, the first take, simply means that this shape, uh, in this case, this platonic shape is visible. And if you go in this take, you can do the same thing. You can enable this cylinder. In this take, you can go and enable the sphere. And in this take, you can go and enable um, this cube. And now if you click on these uh, takes, you can see that they one by one, they are visible. And now if you wanted to render these out, you simply click these uh, circles here and you click this button here. And now you will see that they are going to be rendered out one by one. In this case, it's not working. And that's very simply because um, there are no lights in this scene and this was set to preview range, not the current frame. So now if I create a sky rig and do the same thing as before, now you will see that these are being rendered one by one. And this is very useful. For example, if you have uh, products which you want to visualize uh, with the same background and you want to do this is in a very, um, you know, a convenient way. So for example, if I created this uh, cube, which I will make editable, and I will delete, let's say all of these sides here. And let me just make this a bit bigger. Like this. And now, if I for example, select this take, I can see that uh, I can move this up. And now if I click this button again, you can see that they are going all are going to be rendered. And this is a very simple, very simple uh, explanation of how this take system works. But it took me a very long time to under understand this. And I understand that there's much more to be said about this take system. But I think this is a very important lesson. And you know, I just wanted to make a very quick video today about this. So yeah, thanks for watching and uh, have a nice day.